First you need to degrease the surface from all the wax and polish that dealer or local car wash put on, which prevents anything from sticking to the paint. You do that with a clay bar and water and soap solution. If you have ceramic coating put on the car, you have to take the car back to the detailer to remove that coating from the front bumper or you have to remove it yourself with the rubbing compound. Decals will not stick to ceramic coated surfaces. Put the decal on the table and mark the true center. Turn the decal upside down and peel off the backing paper. Never peel off the vinyl from the paper. Always turn it upside down and peel off paper from the vinyl. It prevents folding on itself. Spray enough solution so that the decal glides easy on the installation surface and you can align it into a position. Now, find the true center of the bumper and mark it. Use hood logo as a reference point. Spray the bumper again with the water and soap solution so it makes it easier to glide the decal into place. Now, wash your hands and carefully pick up the vinyl from the table and bring it to the car. Make sure you don't contaminate the glue with oils from your fingerprints. Sometimes that one spot where you are holding the decal may not stick. So be careful. Find the true center on the decal and on the bumper and align it to the curve of the bumper. Slip solution lets you glide it into position, use hood logo as a center mark. Once you like the placement and alignment of the decal, take a squeegee and start pushing the solution out from under the decal, starting from the center outwards. Squeegee and push out as much as the solution as possible. Make sure that there are no bubbles or air pockets trapped under the vinyl. Make sure vinyl is flat and there aren't any bumps. Decal may not stick right away because the solution is preventing it from sticking. Because you are working with the curved bumper, you may have to use a blow dryer to help it stick to the surface. You are basically drying the slip solution so that it sticks better to the bumper. You are also warming up and stretching the vinyl a bit so that it sticks to the curve or valley on the bumper. Be careful with the blow dryer not to overheat the material, it may overstretch. You should have a nice smooth surface without any bumps, bubbles, or air pockets. You may have some imperfections where you have to squeegee all the solution out. Use a blow dryer or a squeegee to get rid of these bubbles. As you see here, it's just water coming out. Now, take the second overlay and mark the center. 
Turn the decal upside down and squeegee down entire surface with a squeegee or a credit card. Press it hard with each pass. The reason why we do this is to make sure that the decal sticks well to the frosted transfer paper and it lifts easy from the backing paper. Now, peel off the backing paper slowly at 45 degree angle. Spray the surface with the slip solution as soon as you expose the glue. Never peel off the vinyl from the backing paper. Always turn it upside down and peel off the backing paper from the vinyl. This prevents vinyl from sticking to itself. Spray the entire surface with a lot of slip solution so it will be easier to glide the decal into place. Find the true center of the bumper using masking tape and hood logo as reference. Spray the slip solution all over the surface so it's slippery. Pick up the decal from the table and put it on the bumper. Now, this is the hardest part of the installation. You have to align it properly with the center and with the edges so that the black decal already installed is completely covered and doesn't stick out past the edge of new installed layer. Top layer you are installing is bigger than the black background, but alignment is tricky because it may look fine on one side while it sticks out on the other. To help yourself with the installation, trim off the paper of the top decal as close as possible to the edge before peeling off the backing paper back at the table. Take a squeegee and push as much as the solution out, starting from the center outwards. Go over same spot a few times to make it stick. It will stick as soon as you get all the solution out from underneath it. Just be patient and squeegee each section at a time. Now. Take a blow dryer and run it all over the decal for around 30 minutes. Keep the blow dryer around 1 to 2 inches away from the surface. You may have some spots where the material sticks well, while it doesn't stick in other places. Just take it slow so that you don't rip the material.
If there is too much slip solution in one place, you can use the blow dryer under the decal and let it evaporate faster. Curves are a little tricky because you can stretch the material to fit the curve, but you cannot stretch the paper, so it's a slow process. Make sure you dry the edges completely, sometimes people forget about them. Slowly peel off the frosted transfer paper. If you see that the decal is not sticking, it means that it needs more drying time. In this installation demo, we purposely didn't dry the material completely to show you what to do. If you have patience and you let the slip solution dry completely, you should have no issues peeling off the paper. Sometimes, you may see imperfections like this, where material is not sticking because it's still wet. If that is the case, just be patient, heat up the area, and keep pushing the solution out while heating the vinyl, so that it will stick after few seconds. Now, you should have a nice, flat, and clean surface. If you didn't squeegee all the solution out completely, there may still be some air or solution trapped under the material, and you may see some uneven surface bubbles. If that is the case, let the material dry for about 3 days. If you still see them after 3 days, just pop them with a small sharp needle.